Yeah, I'm recording this right now for the whole school when we're 2020. Right now we're 2019. That's one of those statements where you just kind of kind of sit with it for a second and feel what that feels like. To think, I was talking to this group that what have you lived to be 130 because of science and everything. And how many times in your life will you be alone sitting with your thoughts sometimes you'll be in groups of people sitting with your thoughts and noticing what arises so I'm going to do a little beginning of the year review and the practice is just focusing your awareness on it could be on sight could be hearing could be on what you're feeling with your body would be what you're smelling, what you're tasting. All of that is is the the training of the mind, the the bringing your full attention to whatever you're doing. I encourage you to close your eyes. If you feel safe doing that. As you get more advanced in your practice, your eyes open, gaze slightly forward on the desk. And if you see something, just see it. Don't have to tell stories about what it is. The fastest, most easiest access for mindfulness is the breath. Focus on the nose. Breathe in through the nose. And I like to say, bring the awareness to that quarter size area under your nostrils. You could do things like breathing in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. See if you notice the difference between the two areas. And if you get lost in a thought, you forgot you were supposed to follow the breath, it's what you're training your mind to do, you just come back. You can't do this wrong. I really mean that like if you get lost in your thoughts that's not there's nothing wrong with that that's totally normal it's what we do all the time but in this moment we're trying to practice coming back to our awareness on the breath the second spot you can do is is do different size air intakes and see if your ribs move It's for me it's like a game. How many different things can you notice about that? I know it sounds kind of boring because it is at times. And by the end of the year, we'll be doing some pretty amazing things, I promise. But right now, it's just kind of getting that home base, the breath, really established. Remembering when you forget. Lost in a story, past, something you're going to do this weekend. An essay you wrote, a conservation paper you wrote, you're proud of, you want to read. You want to share your Egypt stories to people. And you remember, oh yeah, I'm following the breath. So you come back to that rib cage. The third area for focus is all the way down to the belly. 
That's moving the diaphragm. That's moving your organs. The belly moves when you breathe in. Breathe out. And as you're following one of those three areas, try to stay on one. My jam is the nose. Some days it's the ribs. Maybe all the way down the belly. As we finish, I, I like this this little practice is I'm sitting on the bank of a beautiful river and the water flowing by are thoughts. Could be the temperature of the room or what you hear or what you're seeing. And sometimes those thoughts are super enticing to, to the point where you would jump in to grab it, to, to follow it. And sometimes you you realize right away, oh yeah, I'm following the breath. Other times you go all the way down the river. It could be a minute where you're lost in that thought. And what, what you do is you just come back to the bank. Find your posture. Start following the breath again. You can't do this wrong. Thank you for that. Hope that brought you a little bit of tranquility. Hard to stop this room so quiet right now but on we are to our busy friday have a great great day